Live at four. Let's look at the store. And uh, first things first, I just want to acknowledge this Reddit post right here. It says it's so defeating, deflating when you get bad red star luck. And they're talking about getting red stars for Gwen. They opened 40 regular orbs, four elite fours, two elite fives, an elite six, an elite seven. It came out with two red stars for Gwen. I am at currently at zero. That's right, zero red stars on Gwen. And I was feeling kind of bad about it until someone reminded me that she is a Blitz release character. And it says, you'll get Gwen red stars in the Blitz. Just a PSA to those who got screwed with RNG, at least get some red stars for Blitz rewards. Top 10% should get three red star, which likely would be what I'll get and should be useful what I need. Not ideal, but it takes the edge off after pulling exactly zero red stars. That's where I'm at. And I believe if you get top 100, you can get higher, right? And four red? I don't know. Anyways, it's been a minute since we had a blitz that I've thought about caring about. Also, I wanted to acknowledge there is a Google Play Rewards. And I get a big shout out to Claptrack Beatbox who says Google Play Point offers may be relevant. And the one that seems to be the most popular of these four is going to be this middle one right here. And here's the thinking about it is you get for 600 Google Play Points, you get 500 cores, you get a gold orb and a premium orb. And with those 500 cores, you can purchase the 50 refreshes and get up to a thousand energy for 600. So I believe that this one here has 1500 energy for 1500 cores. And also this top one for 100 gives you 100 cores. So this 600 right here to give you 1000 energy seems to be based on talking to other players to be the one that they choose to be the most popular. And the reason why that may matter and you may want to hang on to your Google play points, it's according to Tana's video and I'll link you to this video right here. He says, Horde, gold, and modules now needed for Scarlet Spider. And then the reason for that is that he was talking about an event that awards spending gold and training modules. So maybe saving this right here based on how that event plays out. We have to you check his videos about a data mine. You're going to have to go watch the video. Like this right here gives training modules. This one gives a gold orb. This one gives a gold orb and a premium orb, but maybe waiting until we get the official word on how the Scarlet Spider event is going to be, because it looks like it's going to be something different than uh, anything else. Also, blitzing options during events. And this is a veteran player who says, please allow us a choice of blitzes during events like the current magic one. I'm a veteran player. And every time there's an event where winning blitzes earns a currency type of reward, I feel like a jerk or when I'm running up a high score. It means that I'm taking a spot at the top for a character I don't need shards for, like Carnage right now. And I'm doing it because I have to in order to get the event currency. So all the players who really want that character uh, are kind of screwed. And what he says is instead, throw an optional blitz that doesn't reward character shards, just resources. Premium orbs, red star orbs, gold orbs, training modules. Yes! 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 That's a great idea. Let's go to offer review. And uh, first things first, uh, the way this event works, you need to get all the milestones. You need to get about 5,500 a day. So the, the total event requires spending 75,000 of this currency over 14 days. And if you do the math, the actual number comes out to like 53, 57, but let's just round up to 5,500. So we're three days into the event. You can do the math and you know, you need to be a little over 16,000 or something to be in good shape for this event. And my suggestion is that this is not really an ideal way of doing that. And you could also wait to midpoint or later on in the event where you can see how you're tracking your progress and then take that. Plus, I think there's better ways of getting this currency by either spending power cores or by, by spent either by spending campaign energy or I say energy. And there's other ways of doing that are more efficient than just buying the snowflake currency. I think this is, I think they're trash. I really do. Last resort elite five-star orb offer. First of all, anchor pricing on an elite five 
at best is $35, probably closer to $25. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt and say this is worth 30 bucks. Well, then right there, you've got 10 red star orbs or five red star orbs at a buck and a half. That's seven and a half dollars. You've got a silver samurai orb, which is the one that gives minimum six, maximum 180, averages about nine silver samurai shards. Uh, that right there has a value of maybe $3. I personally don't place high value on these because I have an abundance of green ISO and green ions. I feel like I, not always, but I feel like I, I have enough. I feel like that it's kind of like purple gear. Like a uh, green ISOs feels like purple gear. It's a lot better than it used to be. It's not the best, but it's better than it was. And the, a lot of the bottlenecks that we had, you know, six months ago are not as bad when it comes to green green ISO. And so I'm grateful for that. Anyways, so this offer here does not add up to me at all to $50. We're going to pass. Let's move on. Premium orb pack. I do like this offer. I did not buy this yesterday. I'm not going to be buying it today, but I do value premium orbs at a buck a piece. So that right there, that's $4. So that is adds up to $3. So if you have a use for premium orbs and you're looking for premium orbs, I think this is a good deal. In addition, you'll get two legacy, two orb fragments, the Legacy 2 Orb Fragments do have small amount of gold, purple gear, and T3 training materials, as well as characters from year two of this game. We're approaching uh, year four. The four-year anniversary will be in the spring. So those are older characters. Uh, for me and veteran players, this is largely going to be Ultimus food. So I'm not going to be buying it because I find premium orbs just give me Ultimus food and it kind of feels bad. Let's move on. Ability orbs, T3 materials. I feel that uh, the most that one should spend on this is a dollar for 100. So it's not a great deal. Again, purple gear. I feel the most you should spend on purple gear is 10 cents per piece. The problem is that probably only need two or three of these. It's very unlikely that you need all four. So that won't add up to $10 if one of them you have, uh, you know, a landslide amount of them. Let's move on. This is a C minus D plus offer. At best, I value gold orbs at $2 a piece, $6 plus another $2. So this adds up to $8, not quite add up to $10. Let's move on. Level four ISO eight crystals. Yesterday I decided against this and I'm glad I did because there was double drops on ions and that would have been a better way of doing it. Uh, personally, I'm not having a problem with uh, green ISO, I feel like um, right now I'm enjoying spending the green ISOs. Every time I spring green ISO energy, I'm getting snowflake currency. So that's something I don't want to speed through. And so this will get you to a level four ISO, make her war ready. The other reason why I don't think this is a terribly important right now is that we have, she, first of all, she's not a war, a war, war character. And we only have three members now, three three members now of a five man team. So maybe you have the fifth member, this would matter. Maybe there'd be more urgency to get him up and running. But right now I don't see any, of these you know, she's just not, not going to use, she's on the bench. She's not going to get used right now. So I don't see the rush on this at all. Not recommending it. Let's move on. Training materials at best. I value these orbs at a buck and a half a piece. And plus maybe this is maybe worth like one or $2. So that adds up to what? Four and a half dollars plus another buck or buck or two doesn't come close to ten dollars, so we're gonna pass on that one there. Premium orb pack, I value these at a bucket a piece. Again, that adds up to about eleven dollars, and those are maybe worth about fifty cents a piece. Not a great deal, but anyways, I think that the 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 four premium orbs for three dollars off. If you need premium orbs, that's a better deal above than this right here for sure. All right, we're going to scroll past all of this. Oh, no, we got to keep going. We got to read this. Uh, Legacy 2 Orb Bundle. I value these orbs at 33 cents a piece. They do have T3 training materials. They also have some uh, purple gear and gold, and then year two characters. I value them at 33 cents a piece. This is going to be a hard pass for veteran players. Isoate Energy Offer. I value this. Normally, I value this offer at $7. I have little value to these over here. But the thousand energy is interesting because that does directly con converts to snowflake currency. And this is a uh, right when you spend the $15, you get the currency and then you can spend it. So uh, if you need the snowflake currency and you need this type of energy, there you go. Uh, I'm going to pass on it, but I could see people going for it. Pass, nope, trash. All of this is trash. 
Oh, Mega Orb at best, five bucks. Uh, no, all of the, right, there's no reason to do this when you could do this up here. All these green ISO uh, in, in, in Ion offers, you're better off doing this one up here because then events, this at least converts to the Snowflake currency. And those milestones are juicy, right? Milestones are pretty juicy on that. I mean, there's like a, a five red Phoenix in there somewhere. That's worth something to some people. Orb draft. Okay, we're going to pick this up. At best, I value red star orbs at a buck and a half a piece. Premium orb at a buck. Training orb at a buck and a half. 14 basic orbs, 19, uh, 90 cents. Uh, the only thing, I'm not going to buy it today, but normally I would uh, buy this. Maybe I'll buy it tomorrow, but I'm just going to pass on this today. But uh, red star, I definitely could use the red stars for spider Gwen. but although I'm pretty much resigned at this point to uh, have to blitz for her. Oh boy, I can't wait to blitz for her. Some confusion on whether or not that's going to happen on December 30th or uh, January 6th. I believe the blog post had the correct information January 6th. Uh, the in-game notification, I believe, was wrong, but stay tuned. I don't have official word on that yet. Okay, uh, limited time sale trash. Actually, all of these offers down here are trash. Let's scroll down to the bottom and see if there's anything like a 10 for 10 or anything like that. Let's go to the free-to-play account. We actually have a pretty... Interesting offer right here. These are Villain Mystic Controllers. They will help you unlock Phoenix. Phoenix unlocks at five stars, five stars now. So this will help you get closer to unlocking Phoenix. So this is a great value in Marvel Strike Force money. In value, use the word loosely. But basically 150 character shards times five. Some of these characters are pretty horrible. In fact, uh, I barely get use out of, of Mordo. Rarely do I use Ronin. I never use Nobu and Hand Assassin. Loki has been a superstar lately. I'm using him in the arena to give Cersei an added speed boost. So uh, Loki himself is not really doing anything other than his passive. So there's a lot of value in the Cersei Icarus meta with Loki right now because of the way that he boosts the speed with his passive to Cersei specifically. So anyways, if this helps you get Phoenix unlocked, that's great. Uh, I do I do think that's a, a good way of getting it relatively, for Scopely, that's a pretty good value. All right, let's scroll past all the duplicate offers and we're looking for unique offers. Yeah, a lot of people ask me about this. I did buy this yesterday and I think this is great. $5 for 1,000 campaign energy. More importantly than that, 1,000 campaign energy gives you snowflake currency. Think about it like this. What's a better deal? Spending $10 for 1200 or right here, spending $5 on the seven day calendar, which will give you a thousand over seven days. This will, and so not only get to, do you get to spend, not only is the, it a lot cheaper, but you get 1000 snowflake over the, the seven days and you get to spend the, the energy and get gold and character shards and gear and all that good stuff that you get when you spend your campaign energy training materials all of it this is a way better this is just way 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 better i bought it yesterday way way better than even considering this right here much better value all right white ornament of gold yes i bought this so the event works like this there's a total of five ornaments and if you unlock and get all five ornaments you'll get the the no way home spider-man costume the one that's black with the gold stripes the black and gold one the only way to get all five of them is to buy this offer the other four can be acquired through gameplay three of them are in the milestones one of them is on the last day of the calendar so there's like a 14 day calendar on the last day of the calendar you get the fourth the fourth uh, ornament the fifth ornament is this white ornament of gold Three million gold for five dollars is a good value, anyways. Plus, it'll help you get that the Spider-Man costume if you care about the costume. It's good enough looking costume. I don't mind. It's the one that's on the landing page, the loading screen. Let's move on. We talked about that. Ah, Red Guardian. Okay, at five dollars for these characters like this, I don't think we should. You know, characters that have been farmable for some time, I don't believe that they should be selling for more than five dollars for fifty. 50 character shards, so I'm going to say pass on that. Uh, see, Ghost Spider, there we go. She's a 100 shard unlock. And uh, these are, this is the, the, I bought this yesterday on my main account. 
and I had horrible drop rates on her. I do believe that she is what I call a salvable, salvable character, meaning I, I think I'm going to want to use her someday, but right now I'm just trying to get her up to five yellows, but I'm not rushing gearing her. I don't have a, a, a real reason to gear her at this time, at least until I have the full five member team, Web Warriors, and um, I've lost com usefulness of my symbiotes and they exceed the usefulness of my symbiotes. I don't see them getting gameplay until then. In the long run, I think they're going to be very useful and uh, they're, they're, they're slated to be a replacement for the symbiotes inside of the raids for the bio nodes. All right, let's move on. Yes! 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 This is a great deal. Emma is amazing. Five Emma shards, 50 Emma shards for five bucks. Yes, this is fine. She gets, she's getting arena use right now. I'm using her in the arena with Cersei and Icarus. Her passive, her she's got a great kit. I don't know if she's a top 10 character, but she was a top 10 character for a long time. Probably still in the top 20 characters in this game. I use her in the arena with Cersei and Icarus and Zemo and Loki, uh, all those characters, even Cable sometimes in Doom. Anyways, this is a great, great deal if you ask me if you need 50 Emma shards. Let's move on. That's a reasonable Scopely deal. That's reasonable. Okay, I'm going to skip past all the duplicate offers. And I think we'll do it. That'll do it for today. All right. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. We're just going to scroll down to the bottom and see if there's anything else here we're talking about. Nope, that'll do it. All right, let me know what you think in the comments section. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming.